all over back in the workshop again I'm working on my MGB today these are just a series of videos that I do just to help any DIY mechanics do jobs on the cars and motorbikes and more what out there this is a job that I did <coughs> I did last year but it, it's not been successful you see this rust all this rust there well, I bought this MGB last year <coughs> and um, there was a, well, a few jobs doing to it, there was a bit of rust on it so just temporary, just rubbed it down just to make it a bit better, well I used it last summer and one of the jobs I did was I rubbed this uh, boot lid down and painted it and there was a big rusty mark all the way down here now I, I rubbed it down and filled it in <coughs> but it's come through again it's all blistered up so it's obviously I'm going to have to do something with it because I'm going to repaint the whole car this year the problem is with it is that at the back of it you can't see the back of it it's double skinned here you can't see the underneath of the bootleg because there's a frame here so you can't get to the back of this I've looked on the internet and there doesn't appear to be a replacement panel for this boot lid. You can't get, the, only, the only way I can get a skin, you can get an aluminium skin which I don't want, but there doesn't appear to be a metal skin or a repair patch to go in here. So it looks like I'm going to have to try and make some of it. Um, there's only two ways I can do this is either try and cut the little pieces out and let them in or cut the whole thing across right across there and put a new bottom tail piece on and I think that's what I'm going to have to do so first of all what I'm going to do is make a pattern of that curve get a piece of wood set it on a piece of wood and cut a piece of wood to that shape so when I when I've cut this piece out I've got a pattern of it and then I can put my new piece of metal on top of my piece of wood and get that curve right before I offer it up to the car now there's quite a high uh, risk of nosing this up and making a right pudding of it and I might be on eBay trying to find a second hand boot lid but the ones I've looked at the moment are actually in worse condition than this so I might as well have a go at it uh, I'll do a video on so let's see how it goes on. As you can see from underneath, it's uh, the rust is right down inside the, and it's at the back of this frame. So I'm gonna have to get the 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 worst, the worst part is at the back of this frame round about here. So I'm gonna have to cut the panel out and uh, get the skin off and repair it. Repair it at the back. It's gonna be. It's going to be quite difficult this for, for me, I'm not a, a sheet metal worker, but uh, I'll have a go at it. Right, I've marked the, uh, the boot lid and put some red um, insulation tape on, because that's, that's where I'm going to cut it, along that line, so I can get it nice and straight-ish. And that's the piece of wood I've cut, which is uh, I'm going to use to fold them corners over on the on the new skin so I think I just have to go for it I don't know I can't uh, put this off see what happens right this is where we're at I've slit it all the way down and when I've actually slit it it's actually sprung apart so it's quite good that it looks like I'm gonna be able to get it off in one big piece uh, it's quite good that. Just a note when you're doing it like this that you need to have a pair of these and a big face shield like that. I'm not a great preacher about health and safety but when you're using one of these especially when there's no guard on it like I'm using this angry piece at the front here if you get your fingers stuck, caught in that blade in trouble so you definitely need to wear gloves and you definitely need to wear on them head shields or some kind of goggles so I'll just get this piece off we get it off in one piece and let's see where we go from there then 
Right, now we've got the, uh, the tail of it removed. You can actually see what the problem is. Th this, I thought it would be the outer skin that was rotten. But what's happened is the inner, the inner skin that's rotted away there. It's obviously where the water collects on the inside. It's just rotted that, that edge away there. And this is the piece. Uh, that's the piece that I've cut off there. There's a, there's a big hole here and it's all rotten there. But I tell you what. I'm just wondering whether I could salvage this or not. Because it's, it's got the right profile, it's got the right shape into it. I'm going to clean that out under there. Because up there it's not bad. It's not bad. I've seen worse. Anyway, I'll, see, I'll clean it up and see what it's like. If it's too bad then I'll have to try and make a new piece. See there's a bit of a curve in it. So if I can reproduce that curve. What I might do is have a go at making one. If I can't make it then put this back. That's going to be an easy repair of this. Because you can't see it. So I just have to cut this all this rot off, let a piece inside there and weld it and it just be fairly easy that. Right, I've marked out the shape, I'm going to cut this first piece out. And then this, this piece I'm cutting out here now on this line, I'll go here on the ins, this will be the inside lip. So it's like going to go down there and come out the back here and then it's going to be a continuation of that all the way across. So then I've got my, my tailpiece, I've got something to weld to. And that's where I've used this piece of wood that I cut earlier. Uh, I took a template off the um, off the tailgate, the, the boot lid before I take it off. And that, that's from using to get that rounded corner the right profile. One of the awkwardest things to do when you're doing anything like this is cutting sheet metal. There's all sorts of cutters and what have you. One of the best ways to cut full length pieces is using a jigsaw across the vise. Open the vise slightly so there's only a little gap. Put your jigsaw blade inside it. Put that jigsaw off and feed the, feed the steel into it like that. Right, what I'm doing now is I've cut the, this piece here, which is to the shape of the back of the, uh, the boot lid. And now I'm going to fasten it in the vise and then clamp it into position, the exact shape of the piece I cut off. Right, so what I'm going to do now is, is go across it with the angle grinder and cut that to the exact shape of that so the profile is exactly right. It's a little bit up here and it's down in places. So with jigsaw in it, you can't get it perfect, but by doing it this way now I'll be able to get our perfect profile. So what we have now is uh, I've ground that down at the top with a flat wheel. And what we have now is a, a perfect profile of this um, bottom of the edge of the bonnet, the boot, sorry. So when I put it in position, I know when that's bent into that shape, it's exactly the right profile. So basically I need another piece like that for the, for the boot lid. So this one will be the support, the inside skin, and then another one for the boot lid. I'll put this one on first. Right, a little bit further forward, I've um, cleaned this edge up here back to bright metal. 
So this is the original MGB bootleg edge. And I've cut the old rusty pieces off here and I've welded this new piece in. So that, that's a new piece that I've led in that the uh, the skin fastens to. The, the skin I'm putting on now welds to this and goes over the top of that and then curls over the back. Now I was going to make a new piece. What I've decided to do is this old piece that come off, which is this piece, piece come on. see all the holes in it there, all the rusty holes in it. Well, this piece is quite, it's, it's quite a, a complicated piece actually. It's, a, it's, it's got a slight compound curve on it. It's, got, it's bent that way. It's also bent that way and it's bent that way. It's, it's uh, really is a complicated uh, piece of skin this one. So if you look on edge on it, you see the curve on it there. And it's curved that way. And there's also a slight curve on it like that as well on, the, on this plane. So the likelihood of me making a piece without the uh, proper tools like is it an English wheel or things like a planishing hammer. I'm never going to make a piece that's, that's as good as this piece here to be honest. Although this has got, it's full of holes. So what I'm going to do is I've cleaned it up on this edge, this, this bottom edge here, this edge. This edge is quite good, you can see all the shiny metal and it's rotten here. Now I want to save that edge because that edge is, is, is going to be perfect. So what I'm going to do, I know it's not the, the thing to do really, but I'm not made it big. I'm going to put this piece that I just cut, and I've got one under here. I've cut a piece, I've cut this piece here. I'm going to put that. So what I'm going to do, I've, I've cut this, this new piece here, I'm going to let it up inside that lip there. Right, so that's going to go all the way along there, I'm going to weld it to this bad piece. So it's going to be like that. So I'm going to weld, I'm going to plug weld it through here, I'm not going to edge weld it, I'm going to plug weld it through the centre. So then when it's finished, because this, all this edge is good here and I want to save that edge because that, that's an original edge and it's perfect. If I get that back on this, this should be perfect. And then the, all these holes here, because they've got metal at the back of them now, if I plug weld that too and got it nice and tight, I can fill through these holes and it'll never come through again. It'll be as, be as good as new. So all the rot is out of it. It's just left it with a load of holes. By the time I plug welded that back onto there, it'll be as strong as it ever was. And I think that's the best way to go about this. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do, and then we'll see what we end up with. Right, that's the uh, the wing, the uh, the end of the boot back back in position, and it's um, I plug welded it there and there, here, there these two. Now before I do any more I'm going to offer it up to the car tomorrow just to make sure is it looks reasonable that I'm not uh, half an inch short or something like that, something ridiculous. But uh, I'm quite pleased with that. 
so I've got the curve, I've got the curve back in. Got a nice curve on it, and uh, looking at the looking at the profile of it, on I think I've got it pretty much, pretty much sure of that. And th these here as well, they always were, were the inner skins welded on the inside where it's where it's uh, penetrated through. That's where it's spot welded. That inner skin up there is welded at that bottom end there. So that's welded there. And then tomorrow, or well, whenever I come next time, I've just got to weld that to that inner skin there. Just punch, pinch that together. Just pinch that there and weld it there. And just tack these, uh, tack these edges up. Well, I'm uh, happy. I'm glad that I used this original uh, piece of the the boot. I know it's um, some holes in it. Some, there's pinholes all over the place here, but it's actually not rotten. Now. All the rot's gone. This is reasonable metal, and that that inner the piece at the end goes right up to here. So there's the solid metal at the back of all this. Now if I get this, that's well when that's welded on there, it could be rock solid that. It'll, it'll not rot in my lifetime. That's all I'm worried about. So tomorrow I'll offer it up to the car and see how it go on. And then if it's okay then it's just a matter of welding it all up, skimming some filler over the top and giving it to paint. I'll, I'll put this on now and then later on I'll put another one on when, it's, uh, when I've filled it up. Right, this is the uh, the tail. It's welded into position. I've offered it up to the car. Quite, uh, it's okay. Something's all right. I'm I'm glad I used this uh, original skin on here because there's no way I don't think I've got to made a piece to fit and go as good as this. This is the first first uh, bit of filler I've put in just to fill all the holes in and get it all squeezed into the joints or what have you. So obviously that's going to be needing rubbing down and fettling up. Probably have to do it uh, half a dozen times before before it'll be right. But um, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. It's, uh, it's not bad. Underneath here, I put some um, some seam sealer in under that joint, and now you can see what the problem is with these boot lids. Is that when the boot's in position, the, any condensation, any water gets on here, runs straight down the back, down the back of that the ends up down here, and it can't get out. So we've got like a trough of water in the bottom. So what I've done is I've drilled two holes in there, put a hole there each side of the lock. This is the lowest point of the bonnet. So any water that, that runs down here and collects at the bottom, hopefully it'll, it'll come out these two drain holes there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some paint. And I'm going to pour it down the back here. So it'll soak all that new metal that's down there will all get full of paint. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it down there some neat paint. So get get a good load in. And that's it. Might take a photo when it's painted after. But uh, I think it's alright. I think that's better than, than trying to make a new piece. I don't think I could have you can see the curve on that piece there. It's okay making a curve on a, on a straight piece of metal like that, it's pretty easy. But this is curved always, it, there's, there's, there's a subtle curve on it, a crown on it as well. And if I'd have ended up making a new piece, I wouldn't have got that crown on, and I'd have, have to use filler to get a crown back on. So I think this is the best way to do it, it's quite tricky. Okay, see ya, bye.
This is the uh, boot lid off the MGB. Um, give it a coat of paint. Not, I don't profess to be um, a paint, mm -hmm. paint sprayer. I can, I can get a paint on, but I'm not a sprayer. Just trying to show you um, the end result of that welding when I filled it up. Quite happy with that. It's not bad. I had to do it a couple of times. I made a mess of it first time. I got a um, something landed on it. Some uh, contaminants, a bit of like a bit of cotton or something. I don't know where it came from. Landed in the middle of the main bonnet, and I had to rub it all down and do it again. No, anyway, that's it. That's that's the job. And it's all I need to do is put the lock back in, put the badges back on, and put it back on the car.